When you hear the words cyber criminal, you might think of a hacker trying to get into your credit cards or your checking accounts. You might not think about your retirement accounts. Why are they targeting retirement accounts? Because there tends to be tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars in them. Bryce Austin with TCE Strategy says it's a growing problem in the world of cybersecurity. The National Association of Plan Advisors says in 2018, the number of retirement account hacks tripled, and it's only getting worse. Austin says the hackers get in one of two ways. Ways. One is that a cyber criminal gets a hold of your credentials with the financial institution, pretends to be you, and tries to get the money out. The other is they convince you to do it on their behalf, and you have to be wary of both. Austin says the latter happened to a Harvard professor last year. A hacker claiming to be with the Massachusetts police said her accounts were at risk and she should move hundreds of thousands of dollars into a safe account. It was all a scam. And because she deliberately did it, there was no recourse. Her life savings was just gone. First way to protect yourself, don't fall for it if a person calls or emails you and tells you to take money out of your account. Second, make sure you have good passwords and usernames. And lastly, use multi-factor authentication. It basically warns you if someone logs in from a new computer or a new smartphone that your account has never seen before. Those simple steps will take care of 99% of this problem. Gordon Severson, CARE 11 News. Well, seniors are the most likely to be hacked. Being at retirement age, they have more access to the accounts and there are fewer hurdles for hackers to go through. But experts say it can happen to anyone at any age.